Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're actually going to be looking at Sky Doge because I made a video on it previously here, which was just talking about most profitable coins. And normally with like meme coins or new coins that come onto the market that are profitable, I normally just make a video on how to mine them, how to set up the wallet and where to sell them. But I actually received a message yesterday talking about Sky Doge and that I should probably look into the technology underlying it. So on Discord, I just had a message from the Casper Discord that said, Something along the lines of, do you want to talk about Sky Doge? There's some good technology underlying it. And here we have a message that just says, saw your video, and it basically talks about this thing called Drive Chain, which is implemented into Sky Doge. And I believe that it is the first one to implement Drive Chain. As this person says here, it's uncharted territory when it comes to tech, as no one has had the balls to actually implement it into running a network until Sky Doge, as far as I'm aware. It's an old Bitcoin proposal from when altcoins were just becoming a thing. And then I just asked him what the Bitcoin proposal was and it's 300 and 301. So I didn't really do as much research in my previous video because I thought this was just a meme coin like Pepe W, which doesn't really serve a use case and doesn't really have any implemented technology that could be better than other coins. However, Sky Doge does actually have this drive chain fork, which is from as it says there, BIP 300 and 301. So I did a bit of research into this drive chain Bitcoin proposal, and it actually looks like it could be a very good underlying technology which Sky Doge has actually adopted here. Now I know it's unfortunate that it's named Sky Doge because people will basically look at it and say, that's just a meme coin. However, the technology in drive chain is kind of uncharted territory as they said in the message. Now I've been in cryptocurrency for a while and I've never heard of drive chain but I only started getting into technical type of cryptocurrency instead of like looking at random coins. I've actually gone over to the technology side and started to read into, you know, white papers and stuff like this. So I've missed out on this uh, BIP proposal. And as it says here, it allows Bitcoin to create, delete and send Bitcoin to and receive Bitcoin from layer twos called sidechains. Sidechains are altcoins that lack a native coin. Instead, pre-existing coins from a different blockchain must first be sent over. Once on a sidechain, coins can be changed hands an unlimited amount of times and an unlimited amount of new ways. Thus, BTC owners can opt in to new features of trade-offs. Meanwhile, the Bitcoiners who don't opt in never need to care about what the, any other sidechains are doing. So I know that that seems like it's not really explained very well. However, they do have a video on Bitcoin Magazine. It's only got 6.5k views. So I'm kind of speaking to a smaller audience that would probably already know about this. However, I'm trying to widen that audience and provide informational content for you guys. And here is a kind of just a concept of what a sidechain would look like. So you have Bitcoin here. And then on the sidechains, you have Bit Ethereum and Bit Monero. So these sidechains can be anything, basically any other cryptocurrency. So it basically could end altcoins if they decided to roll everything into this BIP 300 and create sidechains for, you know, Ethereum, Solana, Monero, or any other coins basically that aren't Bitcoin. Obviously the Bitcoin offshoots, they're kind of just the same as Bitcoin. So you wouldn't really want to implement them. But in theory, you could have all the altcoins on different sidechains of Bitcoin. And it's actually interesting that they didn't implement this because it's kind of like a big technology that I think more people should know about realistically in the space. So that is kind of the concept right here, just Ethereum here, and then it turns into a bit Ethereum or bit Monero, and they function exactly as those chains. So I don't actually know in terms of BlockDAG if they could do it. I know it's for every other blockchain, so BlockDAG might be harder to implement. And in this message that I received, it also says here, the guy developing it actually requested exchanges not to list until they were sure it was close enough to being ready for the side chains to work. And then up here it says, to sum it up, it's like they're using Kadena's multi-chain, but every chain has separately programmed and merge mined with the rest of the Sky Doge network while having Sky Doge as the chain's main coin. So one chain could be blank, the main chain, one could be EVM, one could function like Monero, one could implement a block DAG if physically possible, but under all the same umbrella token or coin, I guess, which in this case would obviously be Sky Doge. Then it says, instead of having programmable transactions like smart contracts, it's programmable sidechains. So when we go back here, it goes over a bunch of things in this proposal, and this is kind of what it looks like as a base layer. So you have BitMonero moving on top of 
this uh, Bitcoin core. And then after a while, it would actually include this three month period, I believe they said in the actual proposal, and it would be put into one of the hashes in a Bitcoin block. And then that would contain the information from the other chains, which would then allow you to basically have the ledger of all of the chains implemented into Bitcoin for, you know, further security. And, you know, you can go through that hash and then you could go onto the second layer and look at all the transactions in that hash. It's kind of hard to understand. And if I'm not getting it across, just please leave a comment. I'm new to this kind of technology, so I don't exactly know at a very technological level how it works. This is just an overall generalization. And then the other thing that I wanted to talk about with this drive chain is that mining incentives actually would increase. So what happens is if you create Bitcoin and you're mining it, and then you create a side chain, you could actually collect all the fees from all the side chains and it would go directly to the miners instead of the fees like Solana is just fees to the network. You would have fees that would go into the blocks that you mined, like on Bitcoin, and the miners would be able to share the transaction fees from all other cryptocurrency sidechains on the network. And this is all done within Bitcoin, or as we have it implemented here in Skydoge. So as it says, they're better for everyone. So users eventually get every feature of every crypto coin. So a lot of cryptocurrency coins are just like kind of duplicates of each other. So they're I think there's only probably about, I don't want to say a rough estimate, but 200 coins that actually have unique kind of technology that you could implement in. And the rest of them are just copies of these coins under a different name, basically. But you'd get every feature of every crypto coin if you wanted to build the side chain out. Investors, permanent solution to the problem of rival coins and hard forking. So, you know, just like Bitcoin Cash and stuff like that. Miners automatically collect transaction fees from all chains at once, no node software needed. And then lastly, developers freedom to manage your own blockchain. So the side chains aren't affected by Bitcoin at all, or Skydoge in this case. It would actually give developers freedom to develop their own chain. I know they're clearly developing their own chains, like, so they could just develop it on top of Skydoge. So the only problem with the mining of this and then getting your actual transaction fees through is it's on a vote basis on hash power on the network. So in practice, anyone who wants their money back will be able to use an atomic swap. So these transaction fees are all collated into one transaction and then it's split after six months into all the miners. However, as it says here, no, but in practice, anyone who wants their money back will be able to use an atomic swap, submarine swap or other similar services to transfer funds from the side chain to the main chain and vice versa. The long delayed withdrawal costs would be incurred by few liquidity providers that would gain some small profit from it. So in theory, if you had somebody who held a lot of these other sidechain coins, they could provide liquidity and the miners could trade their liquidity right now for their chance at the block in the six months. Obviously, you'd incur a fee of that, but it'd be very good to see miners getting way more transaction fees because it would be more incentive to decentralize the hash rate. I know Bitcoin's hash rate is pretty decentralized at this point, but it gives further decentralization to the hash power. And then it says here that miners can steal. Yes, if a group of coordinated miners are able to secure the majority of the hash power, so they're talking about a 51% attack here, and keep their coordination for six months, they can publish and take the money from the side chains and pay themselves. So that's unlikely to happen on Bitcoin that people would take over 51% of the hash rate for a coordination of six months. So as I said, Skydoge is actually implementing this into it. I'm gonna do some further research. I'm gonna look at some more white papers and some videos around this, but I just wanted to give you an overall kind of generalization of what this underlying technology of Skydoge is, because as I said, I thought it was just a meme coin that we could mine and be profitable on. However, there's actually some good technology there that even if it wasn't on Skydoge, and it, and as I said, it's unfortunate that it is a meme coin name, it could be implemented into a different cryptocurrency and that could be utilized to make side chains. Now there is some problems that I've run into looking further into Skydoge. The technology behind it is great. Like that is a great technology that we could use this drive chain technology. 
and it could be implemented into Bitcoin maybe if they had a reproposal of it. However, the only problem that I have with Skydoge is this on the network 10 billion Skydoge was pre mined. 4 billion of those coins were minted for the exchange of coins that were mined on this SHA and which network. And the other remaining 6 billion was allocated for further development of Skydoge. So there's already been a pre mine on the network. As you know, in proof of work, if you're looking for a really fair coin, you don't want pre mines or pre allocations. You want something that from the start, anyone could start mining. Some people had that problem with Ironfish because it was a test net, but they did theirs in a way that anyone could access it if they wanted to. The latter include 1 billion to the founder, so we don't really want 1 billion going to the founder. You know, Bitcoin was built on a free for all kind of free market. And 1 billion to the founder basically means that like you could sell off at any time. 1 billion to the technical development team. As again, I said that. 1 billion to the business growth and market management team, which I believe certainly should all come through donations. Like if you, if you want to take the model that Casper uses, they do all their stuff through donations of the community and their proposals are voted in the Discord. And then 1 billion for airdrop. I don't like airdrops, promotions or community expansion and 2 billion reserved for exchange, expansion, foundation, and future development. So those kind of things I have a red flag with Skydoge for, but the underlying technology does look to be really good. I'm going to do some more research into it and see what I can dig up, but I just wanted to make you aware that Skydoge, I think, is still profitable if we click on hash rate NO here. We have some of the top profits coming from PepeW, obviously a meme coin, which had their thing with their wallet where it wasn't safe or they reverted back or something like that and then we have novo here which i think i'm gonna start making a video on because it's really good on amd cards and then down here we have sky doge which is profitable so overall an interesting technology which i didn't really know about and i don't feel like a lot of people in the community would know about this technology either so i'm hoping that i educated you guys a little bit and kind of inspired you to do some more research on this drive chain technology as i think it could be something in the future that could be one of these revolutionary technologies like we have with Casper Coin and BlockDAG. This could be another iteration of these new up and coming technologies. So as I said, again, if it's profitable to mine Skydoge, then you should go ahead and mine it. The underlying technology is good, but the pre-mine and stuff like that is kind of a red flag for me. You know, I don't think they have any ill will for the coin or ill intent for the coin. I just don't agree with pre-mines and pre-allocations. So that's it for the video guys, if you did enjoy and you learned something new, then please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll leave links to all these sources in the description below.